So today we're going to be fixing the speedometer on this cluster. We have these little plastic tabs that you're going to have to open up. And then there's going to be this screw on the back. Uh, while I unscrew this, please go ahead and take a second to like, subscribe, share, or comment. It will really help me out. Once we have the screw out, we're going to pull up on this bracket. And then we're going to go ahead and start on these little clips. This cluster has been taken apart before, so these clips are a little easy. And to get these off, you just pull straight up. They might be a little difficult, but don't worry, you're not going to break it. So straight up. Same thing over here on the light. Now around the light, there's a little grommet that'll make it difficult, but if you keep pulling up, it will eventually come off. Take off the bezel. And then we're gonna have to take out these four screws on the back. When I flip this over, you'll notice that the uh, color panel for the lights fell off. It's not a big deal, just don't lose it. Um, this cluster's been modified, so I'm not able to take this out completely. But right there's the culprit as to why the speedometer isn't working. Um, take note that the stripe is facing down on the speedometer because that will affect us later. So right here, I'm just using some, I think it's like 1200 grit sandpaper just to clean up the contact pads. This is some 70% isopropyl alcohol, clean it up a little bit better. We want to make sure the contact pads are as clean as possible when we solder in the new capacitor. Also, my apologies for not getting the desoldering process. I'm still working on getting better camera angles, but uh, I was actually out of frame when I desoldered the capacitor. So now we're going to grab our 6.8 uh, microfarad capacitor. It's a 25 volt capacitor. And once we put it in, we're going to make sure the stripe goes towards the bottom of the speedometer. Bend the little leg so it doesn't fall out. I'm going to use this tinned uh, paste flux. And you can buy this at uh, Home Depot, but I will also link an Amazon link. There will also be a link in the description for a capacitor as well. So I'm using some 6040 uh, leaded solder. It's my preferred solder. I'm going to use a little bit of tip tinner first. And we're just going to solder the legs in. Then we're going to use some flush cutters and just make sure we get it cut nice and tight. A little bit of 70% isopropyl again, clean up the flux paste. And then I use a dollar store nail polish uh, clear just to seal everything up. I'm going to go ahead and place it back in. Go ahead and put the four screws in. Thank you, sir. 
after the four screws, we're going to put this little plate back on, put the bezel back on. And after that, we're going to put the front plastic lens on. Snap it into place. Put our little light knob on. Odometer reset, just push it back in. I'm gonna put a little bracket back on. Screw it in. Didn't actually get a great shot of it in action, but here's a screen grab showing that it actually worked. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you found this helpful.